project that I had been wanting to do a video on for a while. I thought really quickly I would try to create a video for it for anybody that's an atheist or a non-believer, but mostly atheists, I guess. Um, I know that atheists don't like to, uh, you know, we don't like to clump ourselves together or, you know, we don't like to have this kind of uh, definition of what people who are atheists should be like because atheism is really just a position that, you know, doesn't believe in any claims of any gods. So, you know, you might ask yourself, after I ask you the questions, you might think I'm crazy too, but you might ask yourself, well, if, you know, if that's the case, and, and I agree with it also, but you might ask yourself if that's the case, and I agree with it, that, you know, not all atheists are alike. You know, why am I kind of trying to ask this question? Because it kind of will seem like I'm trying to um, create a category or a definition or a personality type for atheist, but I'm really not. I'm kind of asking this for the same reason that I used to ask, you know, questions when I was Christian. And, you know, because I wanted to, I wanted to know, you know, am I right? Am I wrong? Can this be argued out of me? Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing, and I'm asking the atheists how they feel about this. Now, I know that, you know, a lot of skeptics, I think there are, I think there are different types of atheists. And just like I said, even though I know that you know, a lot of atheists don't like to be categorized or we don't like to be considered all the same because we all have different beliefs on different things. But I think that different, certain positions on things can conflict with your atheism. And I think that if they do, then, you know, people ought to be able to question you about that or whatever. And here's the question before I continue rambling, rambling like I always do. Um, do... Would you say, as an atheist, that you feel that there is definitely definitive proof that there are no ghosts and there are no aliens? I don't know if most of you saw that uh, recent CNN thing where there was a bunch of military, um, ex-military guys that, you know, basically were telling their stories and giving their testimony, as it were, of all the UFO incidents that they experienced um, around nuclear facilities. Um, you know, you can look that up on YouTube. And, uh, you know, I mean, I guess I just look at things like that, and, I, you know, I don't have, like, a bunch of atheists sitting around, you know, that I can ask what their opinion is of it. So I'm just wondering, you know, what other atheists think of that. Like I said, I know that atheists that kind of lean towards skepticism kind of feel like, you know, they probably think, oh, that's garbage, it's bunk. I mean, even like uh, the Atheist Experience channel on uh, YouTube, you know, I think those guys definitely have said that they think that's a bunch of garbage and superstition and everything. You know, and maybe, maybe they feel differently about aliens than they do about ghosts, but, you know, I mean, unless I miss that day in science class, I don't remember, you know, I mean, maybe I just don't know this because I don't, you know, prescribe to any, like, science magazines or anything like that, but... You know, I don't think that any, either one of those things have been completely scientifically debunked. So I guess what I'm saying is if you're going to kind of scrutinize <clears throat> paranormal activity or, you know, the, the alien or UFO phenomenon, whatever you want to call it, if you're going to scrutinize that in the same way that you scrutinize whether God is true or not, then, you know, you should use the same criteria. And I guess the way I'm looking at that, and I'm not saying that I necessarily 100% believe there's ghosts. And I don't, I'm not saying 100% that I believe there's UFOs or aliens. I think people have seen those things and there's a lot of really credible uh, witnesses. There's even credible footage of things like that that have yet to be debunked or that people, you know, say uh, is real, you know. But, I mean, it's not like it, the, the whole scientific community has come out and said, oh, yeah, this is definitely happening, and, you know, friggin' E.T. hasn't come down and made itself known to the whole world. So until then, it's all kind of speculation, unless, like I said, I missed a day in science class somewhere, and they did disprove it. But um, either one of those things, I, I have yet to, to know of that or know of that proof. So I guess the way I look at it, though, is, like I said, as far as scrutinizing those phenomenon the same way as you would scrutinize religions or gods or whatever. Um, you know, with aliens and with paranormal, neither one of them have a book that supposedly they wrote 
saying who they are or that they are true, as far as I know. I mean, that book, the Necronomicon or whatever, I mean, maybe that is kind of what that is. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I want you guys to tell me what your opinion is. Give me your insight. You know, maybe, you know, maybe there is a book like that from somebody that was dead and wrote a book and said, look, there is such things as ghosts. Believe it. It's the truth. But my point of all that is that, you know, there's no book on those types of things that we can scrutinize. You know, I mean, with religion, it's pretty easy to see through it. We see the reasons behind it. We can see, you know, and I mean, this is just the surface level stuff. You can kind of understand the, the reason behind man creating a god or man creating religion. There's a lot of, you know, reasons why men would do that. But as far as ghosts, I mean, okay, you could say, well, you know, it's fear, it's hallucination. Um, it's, it's a way to keep uh, contact with the loved ones or people that have died. Or to deal with death because you know maybe our spirits can still walk around here or something i mean i guess there's a lot of things you could say as far as that but overwhelmingly it's not something that you know the majority of humans can use to control other people or anything like that now with the alien phenomenon a lot of people say that that's what the government is doing with that that may be true you know, that they're maybe propagating the idea that, you know, the fictional idea that aliens or UFOs exist because they're trying to hide something else. And I can go along with that to some degree, but, I mean, what could they be hiding that is so, you know, detrimental for us to know about? You know, I've heard the arguments about, you know, oh, well, you know, because they're creating, you know, military stuff that they don't want other countries to know about. Well, if that, you know, the, the alien sightings and our UFO sightings have been going on for, you know, years. And, you know, I don't think that there's anything that's been that big and bad that has come out and, you know, oh, okay, this is what we are hiding. You'd think by now there would be something like that, but that's just my opinion. And, you know, this, the, the whole concept of, you know, of, of this line of thinking, I guess, if you want to call it that, is that, you know, I mean, it's like the same thing as far as what your political party is. You know, I mean, there's atheists that are obviously really, really liberal, which I kind of lean towards the liberal edge, but I'm not like a bleeding heart liberal like a lot of them on, you know, that you can find on YouTube, like, you know, Coughlin. And uh, then there's like, you know, political stances from atheists like Pat Condell that are very kind of conservative almost, you know, or seemingly, you know, or right wing almost, you know, so... You know, what kind of atheist are you? Are you kind of like the extreme skeptic, you know? And, you know, do all those things always fall in line for every person? Like if you're a very skeptical atheist, you know, and I'm sure other people have talked about this, but, I, you know, my main thing that I, I want to just stay focused, the main thing is I want to know if as an atheist you believe in the possibility even of paranormal, you know, ghosts, or if you believe in the possibility of UFOs. And, and if you don't, you know, what criteria are you using to say that those things don't exist? And how does that, you know, how does that work with the criteria that you used for um, the idea of a God and, and how you came to realize that that wasn't true or, you know, the evidence that you think there is that suggests that that's not true? Because, you know, a lot of atheists, you know, are always about you know, oh, well, if there's no evidence to believe in something, then why would you believe in it? And that's like a big argument that a lot of us use all the time. And if that, you know, I just hate for there to be hypocrisy, you know, in the atheist community. So I'm just trying to um, decide, you know, where I fall in those things, too. Because, you know, the ghost phenomena and the alien thing is very entertaining to me, and I'm very intrigued by it. I think it's interesting. I, I want to know if it's true or not. And, you know, I have yet to see anything definitively that says one way or the other if it's true or not. So, like I said, if you have any insight on that, let me know. Let me know what your feelings are, what your thoughts are. Thanks.